Experts everywhere are talking about a market crash and it could come at any moment. We just don't know when it's gonna happen. I'll touch on past market crashes later in this video, but it's important that you have a plan with your retirement savings in case the market does come tumbling down 20, 30, 40, 50 or more percent. But what does that exactly mean? What can you do? Before I share with you those details, let me talk about why it's so important to address this issue now ahead of potential turbulence instead of waiting until the market starts going down. Let's be honest, we've all spent most of our lives building up a 401k or an IRA or other sort of pension through our job. And when it comes to a market downturn that threatens your retirement plans, you've got to do things to ensure that your portfolio stays protected. What can you do? I'm going to touch on that in today's video because a lot of people are worried about that, including myself. And I'll tell you the actions I've taken. About 41% of Americans say that insufficient retirement funds are to blame for their lack of financial security, according to a recent bank rate survey. Market downturns can make you feel like you're even more behind in your savings goals. I know that it helps me a lot when I look at my portfolio and it's down, it makes me save a little bit more. Here's some ways you can protect your hard-earned 401k or IRA when the market does take that tumble south. It's important that you rebalance your portfolio on a regular basis to make sure that it's aligned with your time horizon as well as risk tolerance. Portfolio rebalancing involves buying or selling investments to a desired percentage allocation in your portfolio. The weights will change over some time as investments outperform others and other ones lag. That's just going to be one of the things that you have to look at with your financial advisor or if you're self-directed, you got to look at that, look in the mirror and take a look at that for yourself. Again, you should rebalance yearly if not every six months to make sure that your portfolio has a good allocation and your goals are in line with what you want to do and when you want to retire. You can set up a rebalance of your 401k with your advisor, like I said earlier, your plan representative, both who can walk you through where you're at, where things are going, and perhaps where you should reallocate funds. They'll make some recommendations based on your tailored goals that you have set out. Now, what can you look at doing getting into this? What are your options? What can you do to make sure that your rebalance goes right? And there's one thing that financial advisors will not simply discuss with you because they don't have any ability ability to earn commissions on these products. The product I'm referring to is right here, precious metals like gold and silver. You will not find a financial advisor outside of saying, buy an ETF that will tell you to get into the physical bullion or coins that I'm holding in my portfolio myself. These types of products can help you do something that you should be doing anyway, and that's creating a diversified portfolio. Probably heard that term many, many times, diversify your assets. But why don't you do it in your retirement? I'll explain. Diversification is a key aspect in an investment portfolio, especially for long-term accounts like your retirement accounts, whether it's a 401k or an IRA or other government pension, whatever it is. Diversifying your portfolio across different asset classes and markets also helps you reduce your exposure to one particular segment of the market. You can't go all in on one thing because what if that tanks? You're toast. Additionally, even during market crashes, there are going to be stocks and funds that go up and some go down. When you diversify your portfolio, it allows you to potentially catch some of the upside. And I'm going to speak about that in a second because you're going to have downside no matter what, especially in market turbulence. And when you're speaking about going down, that's why I mentioned gold and silver earlier. In past market crashes, these assets assets have absolutely thrived. You can look at the charts, you can look at the numbers, and this is the exact reason that I put some of these bad boys right here, this is a Pamp Suisse gold bar, into my gold IRA. This allows me to legally hold physical precious metals like this one I'm holding right here, gold, silver, even platinum and palladium if you contact the right companies, inside of your retirement account. So let's just say for a hypothetical example, you've got $2 million saved and you're age 60. Can you afford a portfolio loss of 20, 30, or even 40% that may not rebound back to where you want it to be by the time you're ready to retire? A lot of these cycles take many years? The answer is simple. You probably can. And guess what? If it doesn't, that's going to greatly affect your retirement plans. Maybe you can't join that bougie golf club you wanted to get into, or maybe your retirement home gets ultimately downsized, or maybe you move to a market that was your second or third choice. But let's talk about that. What if you took just 10 to 20% of that $2 million and put it into gold and silver? The reason gold tends to be resilient during stock market crashes is that the two are negatively correlated. In other words, when one goes up, the other goes down. This makes sense when you really think about it. Stocks benefit from economic growth. We've all had those bull run years where you just can't lose. You're making 17%, 24%, and everything is good. Economic growth and stability is good for the stock market. Gold benefits from economic distress and crisis, a mode I think we're in right now, if not very close. If the stock market falls, fear is usually high, and investors typically seek the safe haven of gold. If stocks are rocking and rolling, the perceived need for gold for mainstream investors is very low. When Trump was president, almost no one was buying gold. But let's take a look here what's going on. Look at this chart. You can see that on average, when the stock market crashes, and this is US equities on the chart, gold has historically risen more than declined. Gold also outperforms the cash sitting in your bank account. We've explained that in many videos here and on our newsletter, tageconomy.org. Please check that out. Cash sitting in your bank account is losing money every single day. Gold does not. Even real estate values follow gold only a little more than half the time. This is the practical conclusion for investors. If you want an asset that will rise when most other assets fall, which I believe is going to happen very 
hard in 2024 and beyond. Gold is more likely to do that more often than not. Now, this doesn't mean gold's gonna go up at every single downtick in the stock market. It doesn't work like that. It's not like, oh, there's a down day, gold surges. But over time, in the biggest crashes, you could study it. History says that gold is more likely to be sought as a safe haven. So if you think the economy is likely to be more robust, you might wanna own less gold than usual, but you should always hold a little bit, don't you think? If you think the economy is headed for weakness, which I do, and we talk about this in all our videos here, and the studies are out there, you just can't deny them. You may wanna hold more gold than usual, and holding that in your retirement account, whether it's a 401k or IRA. If you think we're heading for a period of upheaval, you may want to own a lot of it. You may wanna double down and go 20% of your portfolio even. In the 2008 economic meltdown, one that I did not hold a single piece of gold in outside of this one, stocks tanked and gold went up 2,000%. So having a little bit of exposure to this right here can go a long way towards balancing your portfolio like I discussed earlier. The bottom line is, if you can't afford to lose a significant part of your retirement, which is gonna happen in the next few years in my opinion, investing in gold at today's price of around $2,000 an ounce could be the move you wanna make, or silver, or both. Gold predictions are all over the board. They range from 3,000 to 5,000 to 15,000, all huge returns right now, by the way, to even crazy numbers like 75,000. We've talked about it in past videos. Do the math on that one. It's a pretty sizable return. And if we end up miraculously getting past these two very ugly wars, somehow get out of inflation and reverse it so where it's back to pre-COVID levels, and we have an election where everyone's like, fair game, good election, good job, sir. And we just go back to a thriving economy overnight, which those are all satire. We're not gonna see that at all. It's not gonna happen. The chart says that gold won't lose much value as it has use cases and store value. But forget all those points. Toss them out the window, get rid of them. Forget I even said any of those things earlier. As I've talked about many times on this channel, central banks are buying up gold in record numbers. And they seem to be a little bit ahead of the average Joe consumer, like me, probably like you, and even smart minds on Wall Street. So what can you lose? If you're interested in learning more, there's a quiz below that you can take that will match you up with a company that Greg and I have personally vetted. There's dozens of companies out there. There's a few that'll take your information on the quiz, but there are some out there for every single investor, whether it's a minimum investment of 5,000 or you wanna go way higher than that. Whatever you have in your portfolio that you're willing to put into these, there is a company up there that matches for you. Just take the quiz and you'll find out and you'll get matched. You can also join our newsletter at tageconomy.org and you'll be emailed the vetted list of companies and I'll even reveal which one I went with personally. So if you want mine, join our newsletter and I share that in the newsletter for full transparency. I'm a transparent person. So if you wanna do that, go ahead. I know how much blood, sweat, and tears went into my retirement account. I've been saving since 18, that's 27 years. I'm not messing around with it. If you want more economic data, please subscribe and best of luck to you as we hit these turbulent times. It's gonna be rough. Take that quiz below and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.